Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. Josh, Ooh. I just want to point out, I love how we're watching Ruby, and I'm wearing a Percy Jackson shirt, and you're wearing a Spider-Man shirt. I was thinking about that. We are like, not representing. We don't have Ruby. <laughs> you don't have, I, don't, I don't have a Ruby shirt. We you don't, don't have a Ruby shirt? I don't have a Ruby shirt. Well, then I guess I'll just make you look bad. One moment. What? <laughs> I don't wear it very much. You know I have it. I've shown it to you. I don't remember. Anyways, what happened last time, Josh? Uh, fucking hell. Uh... Uh, Oscar officially is kidnapped. He's being tortured. He's, been treat- he's, he's literally being a punching bag. Yep, I feel I feel so bad. So and when Emily says that when she watches My Hero Academia, she looks at Deku and she's like, "He is my son. I want to protect him." I kind of feel that way towards Oscar. It's like I want to protect him. Oh yeah, I remember now. Didn't I get you that shirt? Nope. Nope. All right. You did not get me this. All right. Good. Now at least one of us is representing. All right. So. <laughs> They had a, they chased. I think, I, I think this shirt is a size too small. They 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 chased, and he got away. The flying guy got away, with Oscar. Yes, and uh, I think the only thing that's like the main concern is that uh, Cinder is going down to Amity Coliseum, and this episode is called Amity, so she's probably going to be in this episode. I just really want we need this we need the Oscar rescue arc. That's she what's still needs the Wi-Fi password, and she, I'm only <laughs> quoting you. I'm not agreeing with you on calling it that. I just love that like. I did not expect the word password to come out of Salem's mouth. <laughs> Do you think the other uh, relics have pass- have passwords? I don't know. That's a good that's a good point. How did the others work? Well, I feel like we're going to figure we're going to get a little bit of the staff of creation in this volume. Definitely, it's definitely going to happen. Yeah, but if you use it, like if they don't say what it does or if they don't use it they're gonna at least ex- like explain the rules to Ironwood because he wants to do the thing all right oh by the way public service announcement if you're gonna make videos about Ruby and you're gonna include spoilers in them oh don't make them be the fucking thumbnail he got three s- hours after it's uploaded he got spoiled I got two things spoiled for me in this episode I don't have any spoilers <laughs> I'm going to be f- I'm pissed about it. Well, keep uh. in mind. Well, okay. I imagine you got it from like the the thumbnail, the image. No, no. Even even the fucking title. The said, title? The fucking title of the video. You're just three an ass- hours. It was the I title. Was looking at it, uh. it, it was big. No, you went know actually. I saw it three hours after, after it was uploaded, and it even said three hours ago. Did you Ooh. upload that shit right after you watched it? Probably. Cause you're a bitch for doing a that bitch. shit. Bitch. People have not watched that yet. The we don't have the luxury of watching it immediately. I have to wait for him to get here after, from work. So, like the only thing I know about this, the only thing, the only thing I saw was like a post. It was like Ruby Volume Eight. Uh, end of brand. Of, Sorry. End of brand. So, yeah, he's he's frustrated. I get it. But the only thing I know is like I saw a post on YouTube. It was like Ruby Volume Eight Chapter Five. Spoiler, and it was an image, but it was just an image of Ruby going like this, like 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 she was like uh, like a nervous like uh, but like I don't even remember if that was the expression she was making. But it was just Ruby. It's not a spoiler to see Ruby in Ruby. Oh, She's boy. literally the title character. Yeah, so, <laughs> if they, I, I feel like what they are doing is like they're kind of going, they're kind of ping pong storytelling. Like this, this team story, now this team story, and last team, last episode was very much the uh, Team Yang story about how they chased Oscar and lost him, and now they're fighting. They're surviving now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you mean they're arguing? They're arguing. Uh, they're That's in a. They're, they're in like a a, a shack. So they don't die from the cold, and they're gonna, they're gonna be back. But I guess they have to fight some ice grim, like uh, the thing that was fan submitted or whatever. C- C- Cinder, at the risk of pissing off Salem again, is going to do the thing she was told not to do, which I think is dumb, of Cinder to do that. It is really dumb. Hmm. Let's wonder how Nora's doing. Mm-hmm. All right. Before we get into this, I just want to mention we uh, we have upgraded our setup. We're wireless. We are wireless now. No more having... No more... You no longer have to hear us argue about our cords getting tangled down there. Except for, like, in all the Avatar and My Hero, because we recorded that, like, way in advance, so you're gonna see wires for a while with those zones. Mm, but video... Mm, yeah. yeah. So, like, you're gonna... There are videos that they aren't gonna see for a year after they recorded. <laughs> yep. That's insane. All right. So, let's Shall we? Get, let's just get into it. I hope I don't remember to say anything. Okay. Here. Because there are times where like I edit the video and I'm like, oh, that's a really good point. I should elaborate that on the next, and then we watch the next one. I just you gotta write notes, man. I should write notes. I I just didn't remember. It. I just you always thought, need to write notes. Yeah, I mean, you have any idea how many times I tell myself like, I'll remember this shit. But no, <laughs> I don't. 
All right, let's go. All right, to quote the Joker from The Dark Knight, and here we go. Okay, the two things that I saw that were spoiled for me. Okay. Maria Vicalavera versus Neo. Okay. I, I, I found out they were going to fight. Okay. And an appearance by Glenda Goodwitch. Although, uh, that was an underwhelming appearance, but still. I'd li- I like the idea that since it's broadcasting, it's cutting to all the people that we met that we haven't gotten to see in a while. And then just cut to Sun and Neptune in the middle of the desert. I mean, I get, the, I get Suns from Vacuo, and it's in the middle of the desert. But there's nothing around them. Are they lost? I'm just imagining, like, the funniest scenario. They're lost in the desert. <laughs> yeah, she, Ruby just told the world about Salem and the relics and the maidens. And that's crazy. But that's public knowledge now. But it doesn't really seem like Salem or Ironwood are upset about that. They are not. <sighs> Imagine, like, there's, like, an endgame level shit. Like, everyone shows up at... Uh, atlas to they protect. managed to get a message out that's yeah. the big thing though yeah like i, I can it may not it may have cut out at the last second but i'm pretty sure they got the general yeah point of it point i feel across. like i feel like raven could show up i mean she has portals she could she can teleport to either crow the dad or gang at any time show up the crow and bust him help him bust out <laughs> that's pretty much the best option i love the idea she's like she and she's also the spring maiden so yes but, the, but I mean, the vault's already open, so it doesn't really matter that she's the spring man. It just, it just means that she's really powerful. She has that power, is what I'm saying. Exactly. I really, I really like the idea. She kicked Salem's... Uh, Cinder's. Salem. Cinder's ass. Like, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. I just love the idea. She's like, like, like Robin and Crow are in prison. Just, fling, she jumps in. I'm here to save you. She goes, she tries to do it again. Like, what the hell? Why can't I get out? And it's like, like, the stupid cell cancels out your semblance or whatever. It's like, fuck! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they can't do that, but I mean, like, what would you do if? That's probably what those things do. Those binds. You know, okay, the... yeah, can't solve the resemblance, but one more. Uh, okay, uh, once again, spring maiden. Yeah, mag- if actual that magic. Sh- if if that if that cell can hold up against magic, then there's no reason they should already they yeah. should be this far losing yeah. in this battle. What do you think about Penny? Do you think Penny's gonna die again? Like, she's falling, well, and she's burning up on re-entry, but they're like, she's just rebooting. That's what, oh, that's what Watts said. Remember, um, they were able to rebuild her because they were able to recover her core. But... What if in this volume she loses her core? No, 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 no. They said in the last volume that Pietro took a part of his aura and put it into Penny to make her the first time. And in order to make her the second time, he did it again, but that left him, like, super... That's why he's sick. He's like coughing all the time. He can't do it again if she dies. That that was like the stake that it was implied last volume. Also, where did Maria get a mech? <laughs> do, do you think I know that like uh, Pietro gave Yang the keys and it gave them a bunch of hover bikes? Where were you keeping a mech? Probably used for assembly at Amity. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I really don't. Th- I, I I'm pretty sure Emerald Semblance works on um. It works based on like the brain or like aura like a connection to aura but i really don't there's really honestly i don't think there's any reason it should have worked on penny that does not make sense like could she i mean she says she was working on it but does that mean she it's like tricking a camera with her semblance it just seems weird to me and it seems weird that you were able to trick maria who doesn't have eyes okay again that is the brain brain. it's it's penny does not have a normal brain it's a computer i get i get that like you but you have to elaborate what emerald semblance is i get like oh i can manipulate what people see and just say like oh but she doesn't have eyes okay how so though i know like how so like she's like like well she doesn't have eyes they're like well it doesn't matter i'm not attacking the eyes i'm going for the brain that the part of the human brain that processes sight and that's what i'm affecting if you say like like if this were anime they'd spin like five solid minutes breaking it down <laughs> breaking down how people's powers worked that's like all hunter hunter is that i'm going to rant that pisses me off about hunter hunter like literally they give everybody over complicated powers that had that all have conditions and shit so that you can spend so just so they can spend half the rough run time explaining those powers instead of actually doing cool shit well when you have to put as much e- there's so much effort into uh designing such powers you kind of want people to understand them i guess like how long have we spent trying to work on our oc uh MH- mha characters <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, so which we will cover 
Okay, so the first time we see Pietro in this episode, he's just up on a high thing. I'm like, how'd you get up there? I, well, then again, I guess they just implied that his chair has gravity dust things in it. So remember, like, he, like, stuck onto the ground? So he probably has, like, a bunch of crazy shit in his chair that got him up there. He probably just climbed on his chair. It's really... F so, like, they imply that Neo is really good, but then she just gets one-shotted out of nowhere. Apparently she just has terrible peripheral vision. Because she always get. Remember when o in the last volume, when Oscar just ran up to her and punched her in the face? <laughs> That's Neo's vision. That's, that's oh, Neo's boy. weakness. She just has terrible peripheral vision. She has terrible peripheral vision. And then just gets blasted by a laser cannon. How do you think Salem's going to react to the fact that uh, Cinder defied her wishes and went after them? She's going to be pissed. Yep. She's like, yeah, you're banished again. Go away. <laughs> Go away. What's up with the River of Grimm? I think they are making a path from wherever Salem was originally. Yeah, because I remember they cr she, when she makes them, they like crawl out of like some pit, some goo pit, and now that pit, the goo is making a river, so they can start spawning at Beacon, or I'm sorry, at a uh, Atlas and Mantle. If that happens, then everyone's fucked. Oh yeah, I need do, to block that river somehow. I liked the fight with a uh, Penny and Cinder when they're flying around. I'm like, I think that's pretty cool. I kind of forget they're both maidens. Which ones? Mm. Penny and Cinder. Penny. Cinder and Raven are the ma maidens we know of. Yeah, there's one more we don't know. Cinder is the fall maiden? Is it? Fall? Penny is winter and Raven is spring. So we're missing summer, right? I thought summer was... I thought... I thought, I thought Was Cinder summer? No. You sure? Yes. Okay, I guess I'll believe you. I don't remember. I could have sworn... Because Cinder's last name is fall. I did, and I thought like they intentionally like just didn't do it that way. I don't know. Do you want me to go back and show you the episode? No. <laughs> then shut up. Mm. But yes. No Oscar in this episode, which is probably good because they'd probably just kick him in the teeth. We'd have to, we'd have to be tortured. They'd have to threaten us with that shit again. Watch the next episode like, or I, Oscar gets it. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, why why are you hating on Oscar so much? I feel so bad. Like, cut back to Oscar and he's just like, oh, I don't even know. I'm trying to come up with like a cartoonish <laughs> way of him getting like beating the shit out of him. We haven't seen Ruby in a while. We just did. No, but I mean, like, this is like the first time we've seen her for, like for a good amount of time, and she's talking. I mean, we had her in the last episode, but it was re it was like she was barely on screen for like a minute. It was just like while they were putting Nora in the in the Schnee Manor, and Nora still messed up. Why are the scars orange? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, ouch! That looks like it hurts. So i wonder what nora's react based on nora's personality what do you think she's gonna like react to like the scars on her body do you think she's gonna be like oh well that sucks or do you think she's gonna be like i look awesome i look awesome <laughs> uh, let's do that again this season this volume is certainly scaring me a little bit you think uh, there's there you been, don't know what's gonna happen there, there, man. Have been, there have been times where like i think they're gonna do something and then they just don't do it. I'm like, okay, you didn't do it. But I, so I don't, I don't know. I so I think they're gonna go certain rounds, but I do think they're gonna not do it again. I don't know. Yeah, we're good. Remember, yeah. Patreon is a thing. Patreon is a thing. Go there for full length reactions from Ruby, Volume Eight. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Josh. I'm Jace. See you guys in the next one.